Welcome to my channel. I am Grace Covington, business coach. I facilitate women entrepreneurs to create a thriving and sustainable business online. If you are looking to thrive, if you are looking to create the money that supports your lifestyle while having fun, this is the channel for you, girl. Girl, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on those alerts, to make sure that you are receiving this content that is going to transform your entire life. So today's topic is if you are looking at your life today and you're wondering why are my dreams not showing up? Why are the things that I'm asking for? Why are they not actualizing? I'm going to give you some resources that can start to change that for you where you are creating everything that you desire and you're creating it with ease. So I'm a note taker, y'all. I'm going to be reading off my notes. I want to give you this content. I want to give you this transformational content that has facilitated change in my life and in my clients' lives. And this, these tools, if you use them, they work. So the first one is maybe why your dreams are not actualizing or showing up is not thinking for yourself all right let's let's take let, let's take a little pause to break that down a little bit we live in a time where there's so much information that is available at our fingertips and it is amazing the amount of content the amount of information that is available for you to completely change your life to create anything it's all available right away Sometimes what happens is people begin to rely on this content and take it in a sense where they begin to create their life as a template. So everything that someone says that you should do to be creating your business, to be building your dream life, they take that and hold that near and dear without ever asking a question, is this really true for me? Will this actually work for me? So yes, I'm sharing content today. And what I always say is take what is true for you. Because what is true for me may not be true for you. And you may be stopping the flow of your creation when you're taking someone else's template and creating your life or business with it. So you get into these spaces where like sometimes in business where you are taking these templates where you create completely different from the template. So it is taking the information that you receive, really starting to trust yourself, pull out, I'm not saying reinvent the wheel, take what is true for you, make it your own and follow what you know. In my programs, I always facilitate my clients in a space where I'm being the invitation for them to trust what is true for you. We have the foundation laid out, but the target is to for you to know that you already know, for you to start trusting yourself, start trusting the vision that comes true for you, start trusting what you know rather than taking a template template that may not even work for you. And you could be slowing yourself down, girl. Trust what you know and start thinking for yourself. The people that you hold on a pedestal, they're just there to facilitate you. You also have a gift. You are that powerful. It's you just acknowledging your power and not giving your power away to other people. Okay? Okay, so take a look at everywhere where you're not trusting yourself, where you're not trusting what you know, where you are not thinking for yourself. Cool. All right, the other thing that may stop your dreams from actualizing and showing up with ease is the space where this is a journey. Life is a journey. So you are sometimes are going to move ahead 10 steps forward sometimes you're gonna go back five steps backwards allow yourself to experience the journey no matter if it is and you're in the prime of the journey everything is showing up with ease it's blissful amazing or 
if you're on the other end where, you know, things are changing, it's uncomfortable, it seems like you're not moving forward, the same shit keeps showing up and you're wondering like, should I just quit because this is not working? Trust the journey. Allow yourself to experience the different parts of the journey. It is a journey, y'all. Some of these limitations we've held on to for a long, 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 long time. And it is going to take time to completely release things. And sometimes you release them in different stages. So one minute you release this layer that allows you to up level yourself, then you release the next layer, then the next layer, then the next layer. The key in the journey is being honest with yourself and not pretending or lying to yourself or hiding or avoiding things. Because that just completely keeps you stuck. When you lie to yourself, where you avoid things, where you're not willing to look at what is actually showing up, and you just try to just like push that stuff and hide it and you don't want to expose all of that yucky stuff and not really look at it and look at like what needs to change here like this this keeps showing up in my life so what is it that truly needs to change here for me to progress for me to move forward and in my facilitation we are always looking to expose all of those lies where you're no longer afraid of the dark stuff, the hidden stuff, and you're willing to expose it and show up vulnerably imperfect. So start looking at embracing the journey and really looking at what am I hiding? What am I still avoiding in my life? So that's number two. Yes, that's number two, girl. Girl, yeah, number two. Mm-hmm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, so yes, the next one is judging yourself. Yeah, this is a big one because we live in a world where judgment exists, where people will judge you, people will make you wrong, and sometimes it is our default to always judge ourselves. Once you start practicing and building the muscle of really letting go of those judgments and being an allowance of you, sometimes you're going to show up, you know, fabulous, sometimes great, sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're not going to be that best perfect person, but to truly be an allowance of you is what also starts to unwind everything and letting go of this judgment and letting go of the need to please people. I think that is also part of this judgment is we try to please so many people and make so many people happy and then judge ourselves when we feel we are not measuring up to their standards. What if you could let all of that go and you could truly be true to you? That is the first step in creation is being true to you no matter who you make wrong, who you upset, whose feathers you ruffle. Because in that space of truly being an allowance of you, you start to see the gift of you and you stop being controlled by all these other people. All right, last one is quitting too soon. Like some people quit too soon, like quit right when the change is going to happen quit right when they're going to receive what it is that they're asking for keep going y'all keep going no matter what stage you're on in the journey keep going keep going so i have a 30-day program that is coming up at 30 days to create your dream life stop fantasizing and create your reality. A lot of us are just fantasizing and living in this fantasy rather than starting to create your dream life from where you are right now. It is going to be launching in October. I am excited for this program and just the possibilities that begin to open up in your life and actually making and allowing your dreams to come true. Because a lot of people believe like, oh, this is, when I say create your dream life, like it's so lofty and airy fairy. It is not, y'all. You can create your life. You can create and actualize the things that you desire. It is going through this beautiful process that you're going to be facilitated and invited into stepping into your potency and actually taking the action steps to create your life. This is your life that you get to live. You get to thrive. You get to 
receive all the magic that is here for you to live and create everything that you desire. Thank you so much for watching. Haven't subscribed yet, girl. I do not know why you have not hit that subscribe, subscribe. Yes, girl, do it. Uh-huh. Come on, girl. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those alerts and stay tuned for my next video, y'all. Have a fabulous week. Have a blessed day. Enjoy living on planet Earth.